So in this video lecture series, we talked about how to use Hyper-V to create a master disk image, for example. We then created the image, we updated the image, we compacted the virtual uh, hard disk, and then we syst prep it. What I wanna show you is what happens after the fact. So if you notice, I had suggested, and although I didn't do it, in my master disk images, I would put a date in these files. Well, simply put, I can come in here and rename this disk image. So Windows 10, it actually has the fall creators update, but I'm gonna put the date that it installed the last update. So um, let me go ahead and, whoops, rename. There we go. So I can come in here um, and do, you know, 17 for the year and then 1021. So from this, I now know when the last time that machine was updated, okay? Same thing down here, I could do that again. Now, here's the great thing. I don't, to create a new updated master disk image, have to go through this whole process again. I happen to know that although I created just this just the other day, this Windows Server 2012 master disk image virtual machine that I created my master disk image from, has an update. So let me show you how we would do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and fire up my master disk image virtual machine. I'll say start, I'm gonna fire it up. And what we'll see is that I actually have to spend a few minutes going through the configuration process as if this was a new machine because I've sys prepped it. So let me go ahead and pause while it opens up. Again, as shown in the other video, it gets the machine ready as if we just installed the operating system and it's rebooting for the first time. It'll install the things, it'll go out, find the updates, etc. So let me just quickly walk through this process. For my case, it's going to be United States. I'll accept the licensing agreement. And then again, I'm going to have to give it a password. Now, this password, when I re prep the machine, of course, is going to go away. There's the machine, I'll come in here. I don't need to change anything on the machine because again, I'm gonna re prep it. So what I'm doing is, how is it that I would maintain my master image so I don't have to go back and create another one and install those hours worth of updates again? I'll connect it to the network so it can get out to the update server. And at this point, what I'm going to do as soon as server manager comes up is go on in there, I'll go to the local machine, don't care if services haven't started yet, and configure the Windows update. Now if you notice, because it got rid of all of the settings on this machine, it's gonna want me to figure out the automatic update. Remember, I don't care what that setting is because it's gonna be reset each time I instantiate this master drive. So I'll go out and I'll go ahead and pause while it finds the update. So at this point, we need to use a little imagination. If we notice there is an update, it's an optional update. Now, if there were other updates, they would be here. So let's say we created our master image three months ago and we find a ton of updates. We then simply go in, we install all the updates, we check for updates again. Yeah, I'll accept the license agreement for Silverlay, blah, blah, blah. It'll go ahead, download, it'll install the updates. And then of course, at that point, once all the updates are installed, we just simply have to go in again and run through that process from the previous video where we delete any update files, reduce the file size. So remember, we would just come in here uh, to the C drive, right click, go ahead and clean the drive, etc. Like this. So go ahead, do the drive cleanup, shut down the operating system, go ahead and compact the virtual machine, rename it with the current date, and you have an updated master disk file. So at that point, I just go back out to this virtual machine after sysprepping, by the way, got to sysprep it. So sysprep it, shut down the machine after we've compacted, done all that, etc. Just in case, let me just reiterate. So we've now gone in, we've installed all the latest updates since we last updated the machine. 
We've gone ahead and run the disk cleanup on the machine appropriately. We've shut it down. We've done the compact. We make sure it compacts down to whatever size, deleting all the silly files. And then, of course, at that point, once we've compacted it, we bring it back up, we run the sysprep, and we have a new master disk image as of that date. So I hope this helps. Take care.